state police. Well, tonight, a cross-border search continues for two young men who hijacked a charter fishing boat from Canada. It all started at a marina on the Niagara River in Queenston, Ontario, and ended near the old Fort Niagara in the town of Porter. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley on the story tonight. Went out on the guise of fishing. Uh, after doing a little fishing, they asked the, uh, the boat captain to take them closer to the American shore. It was a nice day. They wanted to take some photographs. The incident started around 11 a.m. Tuesday. That's when three men approached a father and his 17-year-old son at the Queenston Sand Docks in Ontario. The men offered to pay a fee if they could be taken out on a 16-foot fishing vessel. One of the suspects chose not to go, but two others headed out with the teenager piloting the boat. When the, uh, the captain told him that was as close as he could take them, um, he, uh, one of the individuals brandished a pocket knife um, and forced the, uh, the, the captain of the boat to take them um, into the town of Porter where they um, jumped off the ship and entered uh, the town of Porter. The teenage boat captain quickly reported the incident to Coast Guard Station Niagara in a search involving Coast Guard, Border Patrol, Homeland Security and the Niagara County Sheriff's Office was launched. We don't know their exact location. And we don't really know what they what their exact intent is. The suspects are described as two Caucasian males in their 20s, one six feet tall, 175 pounds, wearing a blue coat and Eskimo style hat. The other was five foot 11 with a short beard and wearing a black sweater, track pants, and white Nike sneakers. The first suspect spoke with a French accent. The second with a New Jersey style accent. We don't think they pose an imminent threat to uh, any of our residents in the county. But Lewiston Porter schools took extra precautions. They're just uh, not having any outdoor activities today. The men were last seen walking down Lake Road in Youngstown. I mean, we have uh, a saturated patrols. No one was injured in the hijacking, and authorities do not know if the men are still in this area. And in fact, they would be surprised if they are. That's because often when people enter this country illegally, they try to get as far away from the border as quickly as possible. At Riley 7, I would